As the latest heat wave continues, our everyday life in Kern County is being affected. 23 ABC's Ava Kirshner shows us what adjustments are being made in the valley and what safety precautions you should consider. Hot and unhealthy. These are the current conditions Kern County is dealing with in terms of our temperatures and air quality. And while the county can't change the weather, county members are changing how they're dealing with it. I mean, it affects so many different things. It affects your lungs, you know, your eyes. It's just, you know, when the AQI is high, people do with health issues really need to be careful. That and the high heats. So to help with that concern, Golden Empire Transit offers free bus rides on days when the air quality index is projected to be above 150, or according to the San Joaquin Valley Air Pollution Control District, in the unhealthy, very unhealthy, or hazardous range. I think it's both for, for people's safety. Get on a bus, it's air conditioned, you can get around town rather than walking but it's also environmental. Speaking of that safety, one advisory is to simply stay inside, something that an outdoor sport also has to grapple with. Kern Unified School District had to push back and reschedule their football games due to the triple digit temperatures. If you send kids out that aren't accustomed to that temperature, and they exert themselves, you know, you're subject to heat exhaustion, heat stroke, you know, it just presents a lot of, a lot of significant health issues that we're just not willing to risk. According to the Valley Air District, this heat combined with poor air quality can cause asthma attacks, aggravate chronic bronchitis, and increase the risk of heart attack and stroke. Um, the average individual that has no respiratory condition might still feel scratchy throat, headache, um, tightness in the chest, feeling just a little bit like maybe a summer cold is approaching. Um, those are all impacts from uh, long-term exposure to air pollution. Staying inside an air-conditioned room is important in these conditions. If you do not have an air conditioner, the Valley Air District recommends putting a minimum efficiency reporting value rated filter on a box fan and having it circulate the air in a solitary room. It is also recommended to drink water to flush out toxins from your body. Where we've got a real high pressure system sitting over the valley. Um, so essentially any emissions that we create or have created, let's say in the last 10 days, are kind of still here with us. To stay updated on your current conditions for all things heat, air, and more, you can visit our daily forecast at turnto23.com. In Bakersfield, Ava Kirshner, 23 ABC News, connecting you. For years, California is ranked number one for the worst air quality in the country. 23 ABC is taking an in-depth look at four contributing factors which most affect the air pollution in the state. First, transportation is one of the biggest sources of harmful emissions. It accounts for 40% of California's air pollution. Secondly, wildfires caused by the state's hot and dry climate are another major contributor. Additionally, heat waves also add to the problem. Earth.org says warm temperatures and abundant sunshine bake nitrogen oxides and volatile organic compounds which are released into the air. And energy sources also play a large role in our state's air quality. Producing energy from fossil fuels involves combustion of fuels like coal, oil and gas. During this process, chemicals and gases are released into the air.